today we're gonna to be giving fans Stranger Things inspired looks and I will be dressing the characters today. So the show is set in late 70s, early 80s, Midwestern America. A lot of the clothes that they wear are so wearable even in this day and age because vintage recycles itself. And I think one of the most remarkable things about the characters on the show is how they all seem to have their own distinct personal style. Each character really has their individual looks that brings their personality to life. So this isn't just your typical recreation. It's not meant to be costumey. It's supposed to be really wearable. Like say if Barb is a girl you're hanging out with in Williamsburg at a dive bar, what would she be wearing in the modern day? So for Will, there's that really amazing opening scene where he's seen riding his bike, disappearing into the upside down. So one of the looks that we wanted to do for him was the one with the puffer two-toned jacket. And then we have this plaid flannel underneath and it also has those red tones in the chevron on the jacket. So it's a nice color play and I think it works well together. I'm a big fan of Stranger Things. I do feel like a slightly older version of Will. You know, he liked the clash a lot and they were pretty uh, ritzy when it came to their jackets, so I think it's pretty sweet. I actually related to Will a lot. I was always pretty awkward in middle school. I was kind of a smaller, scrawny kid. People tended to pick on me from time to time. And I also moved around a lot, so I was more like lost than, than I think most kids were. My mom and I were kind of just like the only ones for a while. She was a single mom for most of my childhood life, so really related to him a lot on that. Eleven is a central character in the show, and one of her most iconic looks is that pink dress with the blue jacket. It's a really important part of the series just because that's the first time she gets to go out and go to school with the kids and interact with everyone. We gave her a corduroy jumper paired with this really cute navy bomber and some white sneakers. It's kind of like a sporty tomboy vibe, and I really think it speaks to her character because she's really tough and she's basically up for anything. This outfit is actually really cool. This jacket is kind of oversized, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure Eleven would totally be rocking this outfit right now if she were walking down the streets. Eleven is one of my favorite characters on the show. She is such a badass, does things without even having to tap into her power. She just does it out of the necessity of making sure her friends are okay, and I think that's the coolest thing in the world. So Dustin has kind of like a quirkier personal style, I think, than the, all the other characters. He's always wearing those trucker hats and his signature graphic tees. We kind of did a little twist on this. Instead of his brown colored khakis, we paired with a skirt and kind of turned it around so that a girl or a woman can also wear like a Dustin-inspired outfit. I wanted to put her in a denim jacket instead of his puffy oversized coat just to update it a little bit and keep it modern. So I'm in the girl version of the look. I think that it's dope. Uh, definitely something that I could wear out. I'm really digging this jean jacket. I want to keep it. I'm not kidding. Best thing about Dustin is he's like in it for the friends. Like he's in it for the team. And I think that I'm also in it for my friends and the team. So I, we have that kind of parallel going where you just want to make sure like everybody's good and like fighting for a good cause. For Lucas, we chose to recreate the look where he's wearing that bandana. I feel like that's kind of like his like, war paint. It's such an iconic look for him. He's always wearing these great shearling jackets, so I think that's kind of his like, signature look. And Lucas is going to be wearing skinny jeans today just to update the look a little bit to tie it all together. Lucas's fashion, I feel, uh, is very smart, but also outdoorsy. It's it's back in style. But the character Lucas, um, I actually relate to the most. I'm the friend that's always um, the voice of reason, but still continues to go with the band of friends, but always in the back of my mind. I'm always questioning, why are we doing this? And <laughs> what's going to be the end. For Barb, her signature look is definitely the oversized spectacles paired with a plaid shirt, possibly has ruffles or some kind of embellishment, but in kind of like a quirky way. We updated her look with a floral blouse and some Levi's and a little fringe bag to give it a little bit of an edge. And I think that her overall look is just very wearable because it's, it's really casual. It's basically just like jeans and a blouse, but you can just do so much with that. There's like that main picture that everyone has of her where it's like very diapery in the pants area. And this is like, it, calm down, which is good. Because, you know, we don't want diapers. <laughs> I think I really like Barb because she like really didn't give a fuck, which was nice. Because it's nice, you see all these people like following around with peer pressure and she's kind of like, I don't want to do that. And I'm just going to do my own thing. But then she got eaten by a monster, so that's unfortunate. I hope you guys like the looks. It was really fun creating all of these characters. And if you're inspired by this video to go out and create your own looks, dive into your thrift store, grab some friends, grab some lights, and just make it a party. <laughs>